Okay, it's 30th of November. It's a little over 20 degrees. There's my refrigerator freezer bottles. I keep those in the freezer to help with refrigeration. It's effing cold out. Just got some chemtrails going. Uh, can you see that one? Should be right there. Go on this way. And there's some, some right there that's spread out and you can't see it. Anyways, whatever. <clears throat> Here's my pile of wood, that's one cord. <laughs> I gotta get it in there. Anywho. Screen tent down. talk about the JFK assassination kind of quickly one point is that it obviously wasn't just a few people right whoever did it because the, it was the big cover-up after and uh, and it's still ongoing right so you know whoever did it then is still in power now <clears throat> That's my opinion, but it makes sense. Hold on, we got this guy going here. Blasting it. I don't know if that'll stick. We'll see. Looks like it's going away. Anyway, so they're still in power. Still crazy and creepy. Doing 9-11s and all that stuff. So, you know, it wasn't just Johnson, right? And, uh, you know, he may be, <laughs> he may have wanted power, but he, one guy ain't going to do it. I think it was people in the government, right? Okay, here's the thing about the shooting, though. As far as the shooting goes... Uh, it makes sense that there was at least more than one shooter, right? There was one from behind and maybe two others. But I, uh, you know, that final shot, the one that's coming from the front, you know, where was that guy? The closest theory that makes sense is somebody down in the gutter, right? Shooting up from from the opening in the street gutter. But that's really tough. You'd probably have a split second, and you're not sure who you're shooting at in that split second. I don't know how that would go. Pretty tricky. I think what they really did, that, that last shot was obviously the backup shot. For, uh, in case one of the snipers didn't get him, they had some backup shot that would not fail. And I don't think it was a guy in the gutter is a, is such a thing. You know, like a guy in the gutter ain't a, is not a sure thing to me. A sure thing would be planting a small gun in the car itself and have it remotely operated as far as the trigger anyway. You can pre-sight it, you know. So that's my theory. Assume, assuming it was someone in the government... They have absolute control over his protection, right? They already, you know, shut down his protection. There wasn't any secret service or whatever. It was minimal. And they had control of the car, so they could have planted a gun in it. All the shooting going off at the same time, and one more shot, maybe with a silencer on it. You wouldn't know where it came from, all, you know, all the confusion. <clears throat> as a final backup in case it uh, in case it didn't go right which it really didn't so
So I kind of think the theory in the gutter, the gutter theory, that the final shot was from there, is kind of a disinfo, uh, disinfo theory. They would really like you to believe that theory. You know, someone was in, down below the street level looking up. They would like you to think that instead of, you know, because that could be anybody. That could be the mob. But if uh, if the theory got out that it, it was planted in the car, then obviously it's a government conspiracy, which we already know, because who else could cover it up <laughs> except the government? But I also don't buy the idea that the driver spun around and shot him. Uh, there's one theory that he, he leaned over with his right hand and shot him. And there's another theory that he had the gun in his left hand and did a trick shot under his armpit through the seat, I suppose. Uh, I, don't, I don't buy that one. That's a little tough. That's not a fallback. <laughs> I wouldn't call that a fallback uh, last-ditch effort. You wouldn't want to expose yourself. Anyways, anybody in the car is a potential victim, you know. Even Connolly. Some people think he spun around and shot JFK in the face. That is so exposed, I just can't believe they would go out in the open with it like that. But you never know. So that's my theory on JFK. That's my kitty over there. Hey, baby! <laughs> she hasn't gone out in a month. It's so cold. So there's that theory, and now I'm going to talk about Fukushima real quick. You know, I said that uh, Hattrick Penry came out with some info. The fuel pool number four burned, the, you know, burned, went dry and burned, and all the fuel is really in a pile down the bottom of the fuel pool. And that we need to see the fuel pool to be sure if that's the case or not. Well, I'm pretty sure the stuff I've been seeing is the fuel pool. And I'm absolutely sure that the building they're showing it in is unit number four. Because it is so unique now with those big box beams. You see them on the outside and on the inside. Uh, it's not unit one. Because what they did with unit one is they put truss type beams on the outside and then put the tent over it. So it's a big... Hey, little kid. On Unit 1, which I thought, well, maybe they're removing the fuel from Unit 1 and just showing that as if it's Unit 4. But what they're showing is Unit 4, and it is Unit 4 fuel pool, and that's all I know for sure. They do some fancy cutaways of the fuel pool before... I mean, when they do a close-up, there's like a jump cut of the fuel pool so you can see the fuel that's down in it. Are they, so, are they showing a different fuel pool when they do that? I don't know. They, on uh, some recent videos, they do a big pan shot. They pan down from the ceiling, which shows the obvious, uh, you know, the big box, box beams that are in Unit 4. They pan down, and then they show the fuel in the fuel pool. So that's a perfect shot. To be convincing. The only thing, and I know I get nitpicky, but the only thing they could be doing is superimposing on the surface of the water, they could be superimposing an image of fuel from some other pool as a trick. And the operation that they're doing in there is just, <laughs> just a mock operation. It's possible, I don't know. All I do know now is that the fuel pool is there, it's in Unit 4, and it's full of water. Whether there's really fuel in it, uh, I don't know. There was one sketchy video, I just want to lay that out there. One sketchy video where they do a close-up of the fuel that's down in the pool, but it's not aligned with the walls of the, f of the pool. Okay, so let's do my hand here real quick. Alright, see, the, see that edge right there is the is the walls of the fuel pool. 
what they showed was the racks of fuel in there but they were like this that's kind of sketchy to me and but in other photos they're they're like this so there was one photo with them like that which doesn't make any sense unless they got jogged around during the earthquake which is possible but did they get unjogged and now they're now they're going straight across or is it one of those things where they're not level and so if you look at it at the right angle it looks like it's going curved like that I don't know I'm just thinking that's a possibility what they do is superimpose an image of the fuel on the surface of the water when they that's, I don't think that's too tricky and you think there's fuel in there standing up or upright you know and you're looking at the ends of it it's all tall and it's not broken and down and falling down to the bottom I don't know I'm just saying so to me it is unit 4 and there's water in the pool and that's all I can say <laughs> did it burn I don't know maybe but anyways unit 3 it appears from their videos is unit 3's fuel pool is full of water and also full of girders and I-beams <laughs> and stuff from the roof that they haven't pulled out yet uh, and they haven't put a tent over the top of it it's just trimmed off uh, halfway up the building to the concrete top surface you come now P come on you oh it's cold my fingers are frozen I'm gonna go in alright so there's those uh, possibilities I'm working on my gravity gravity fed plumbing system I got the kitchen part done I got the uh, I got the, the tank up it weighs 50 pounds but it is solid up there so it's good okay later say goodbye pee I call her pee poo cause she pees and she poos right baby <laughs> bye whatever white people Okay, there's a there's a big one that's fanned out right there. Pretty wide, I think. <laughs> That'll be a lovely cloud later on. Okay, bye.